Hello and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve this cube. And this is an awesome cube to start out with if you've never solved a 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three because it only involves one algorithm and is super easy to solve. All right, let's get started. Okay, so like we do with all of the Rubik's Cube videos, we're gonna start with mixing up our Rubik's Cube. So the first thing we're gonna do is choose a side to start with. So I'm just gonna choose white. Um, and the first thing I need to do is get the pieces in the corner. And I would actually say this is the hardest part, except maybe the end step. The end step can be pretty frustrating at first. So what I need to do is I first need to get pieces up here. So I'm just gonna see that this piece, and again, if you've practiced with this, you'll know that you can't, it's pretty frustrating, you can't just move it like this. So it just takes some getting used to, you have to move it diagonally. So since this is my first piece and there are no like permanent center pieces here, I'm going to designate, designate that this is um, the correct placement. So I'm gonna model where all the other pieces are after where this piece is. So I see this is blue, red. So, oh, this one's blue here. So I'm just gonna bring that diagonally up like that. And this piece looks like it is orange and bring that up but it is twisted, but that is okay because if you can envision twisting it, I'm not actually going to twist it because that would break the cube, do not do that, um, you'll, it would be matched up. So now I just need to get that last piece right here. So I'm just gonna move it right up. But so I would say this is solved. However, these two pieces are not orientated. So in order to orientate these pieces, you're just going to do this simple And there are different ways to do this. Um, I'll show you with this side. Um, some people explain it where there's like, you can do it backwards. I think that's super confusing, but if you just do it twice, it'll solve it. it takes more time, obviously not ideal for, for trying to do this for a time, but it works for just solving it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this one down, cross, back, and up. And even though it didn't solve it, it's a different orientation than how it just was. So I'm gonna do that again. All right, there we have it. We have the white side solved. Moving on to the next, white, the yellow side. Okay, so for the yellow side, we're gonna just flip over the cube. And there are three different possibilities for this. So the first one is that the entire yellow side will be solved, in which case, just skip ahead in the video. Sometimes that happens on the first solve, uh, or you just wanna watch it to find out. Um, to solve it. So the second solution is that only the center pieces here, none of the edge, edge and corner pieces. And then the third solution, what I have, none of the pieces are here. Um, but if you did this correctly, you will notice there are only four edges on each side. No, or sorry, corner pieces. There are no edge pieces like on a three by three. So unless you did something wrong, there are the yellow pieces can only be in this top layer and they're all going to be yellow pieces unless you did another color, in which case they're gonna be that color. Um, so what I'm going to do is they're always gonna, you have to find the side that has two on the same side. And you're gonna put that to your left and make sure you do this right. There should be a side or a corner in the right and on the same side, but like on the back. So now this algorithm I actually had trouble with the first time I did it. Didn't really understand. It wasn't really explained very well. But what you need to do is you do not, when they say turn it diagonally, um, you need to make sure you're not doing this so that the white piece is facing this way. You have to make sure you're doing it from the back so that the piece that the white piece is moving up is the bottom left. So it'll look like this, not like this. This is very important. And where all the turns are going to be like that, none of them are going to be straight across. All right, so this is the algorithm we're going to do. So we're going to go up, up, down down. That's it. That's all you have to do to solve the yellow side. Super duper simple. Uh, that's partially why I love this cube. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see that there is most likely going to be one side that's solved. So you should have three, but sometimes there's not and that's fine. And this is just important to know where to put the cube. So if there is a side solved, you want that face into the bottom. If there's not one solved, that's fine. Just do this and then it's basically like one step behind. But it has nothing to do with what you did, just how the key, how the places were, the pieces were placed. So um, as you can see, I have orange in the bottom, and make sure you're not doing this because, it, as you can see, 
this is not correct because then we don't have the side here. So we need we need it like this. So make sure that even though you think you can just change around what side is on top, you cannot do that. Make sure that the like this. I mean, you can change it however you want, but these two pieces need to be here. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same exact algorithm, but we're going to do it twice. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So again, we go from, and uh, this time instead of white, it's going to be orange. So we're going to go from the back up, other side up, back down, other side down. And now we're going to rotate the cube twice. And now we're going to do the same thing. And there you have it. We have solved this cube. This cube is super simple. It does take some practice, but overall the algorithm is quite simple. I would even say this is easier than the Ivy cube. And it is a super fun cube. The only thing I don't like about this cube is how it sometimes just moves when you're trying to solve it. It just moves, but you could just kind of adapt to how to hold it and how to turn the pieces. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.